All right, so we're going to do an example here where we want to sketch a hyperbola. Um, now, this one here is going to be opening vertically because we have a plus sign on the y and a minus sign on the x, so we have to keep that in mind. It's also shifted, right? So the center, the intersection of our two axes of symmetry is going to be at the point 1, 2, so we have to account for that as well. Um, but the other thing that we want to make sure we get right is, well, okay, the 25 and the 4, how do they actually come in? How do we make sure that we get the shape right? Um, how do we know if it should be opening really, you know, is it, is it like, like this or is it like this, right? How, how steep is it supposed to be? Um, so we've got to figure out the role of the 25 and the 4. How does that inform the graph? And the way to figure it out is, well, let's do it for the vertical case since that's what we've got. So we've got this, right? We've got... Uh, y squared over, I'm going to keep it as b, y squared over b squared minus x squared over a squared is equal to 1, all right? So I can move the x squared over a squared over, so I have, uh, and, and let me multiply by b squared. y squared is equal to b squared times 1 plus x squared over a squared, all right? Uh, or I might write this as b squared over a squared times a squared plus, plus x squared, okay? All right, so if I take the square root of both sides, right, then what I'm getting is I get this. I get that y is plus or minus b over a. We assume that a and b are always positive in these. Uh, b over a square root of x squared plus a squared, okay? Um, all right, so we can do that. And if it was the other way around, if it was, uh, if you had the minus here and the plus here, it's gonna be pretty much the same story. The main difference is uh, we move the y to that side, the one to that side, and you get x squared minus a squared instead of x squared plus a squared, but you, you get the same thing. Um, and so what you wanna understand here is just sort of think asymptotically, right? Think about large x limits. Um, if x is large, x squared plus a squared is approximately the same as x squared, right? Adding the a squared doesn't make a big difference. And the square root of x squared is approximately x. Okay, so that means that for large x, right? Um, for x large or y large, y is approximately b over a times x. Well, plus or minus, right? So those are straight lines. Those are the asymptotes, right? So this line here, right, this line is going to be y equals b over a times x. This one down here is y is equal to minus b over a times x. Um, so that's going to be kind of a, a key observation when we want to sketch our hyperbola. So let's draw our coordinate system. Okay, let's mark the center. So the center is at 1, 2. Okay, so we have our two axes of symmetry. like so, right? And the vertices, actually, the vertices are quite easy to find. Um, one thing you'll notice, this term can't vanish, right? I can't have y equal to 2. Impossible, because this is negative and that's positive, okay? But this term can vanish. If x is equal to 1, right, if I'm on the line x equals 1, um, then this term goes away. So when x is equal to 1, that implies that y minus 2 squared is 25, okay? So that means that y minus 2 is plus or minus 5. So y is equal to either 7 or minus 3, okay? So we go up 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, we should have done this. My scale is not great. Um, yeah. Should we move it down? Let's move it down. We've got to shift y down a little bit, or it's not going to fit on the board. Get rid of that. 
So let's say this is two down here, not to scale. Y equals two, X equals one. So let's say that somewhere around here is seven. Okay, there's one vertex. The other one is gonna be at minus three, so around here, okay? So we have that. Um, and so in this case, right, I mean, we have plus or minus b over ax, but now we have to, we have to account for the fact that we've, we've shifted things over. Um, but what you can do, and you can, kind of, you can kind of work it out from here, that you have, let me do it in blue. We'll see it on here. So when x is equal to a, y is plus or minus b, right? So when x is equal to a, y is plus or minus b. So we get this, right? So here, here is basically 0, b. OK? And we can kind of draw in that box. And the asymptotes should go through the corner of the box. So we go a on either side, right? So whatever, you know, the thing under the x, we go, if that's a squared, we go a either side of the center. And we go up and down B, either side of the center. Okay? So here's the center of my box. So X is, so that's a 2 squared there, right? So I should go 1, 2 units over, right? 1, 2 units over. I guess, again, let's try to get the scale reasonably good. About there, okay? And Y, we're going up 5. Okay, so that's up at 7. This is at uh, y is equal to 2, right? Yeah, so we go up by 5. We actually get to that vertex, so that's fine. We expect that, right? So we draw in this box. Okay, my sketch is not perfect. Nobody's sketches ever perfect. So you draw in this box, right? Um, this distance, so here's, here's that center at 1, 2. This distance is 5. This distance is 2, right? So that's 5, 5, 2, and 2, right? So we have 2 either side of the center, 5 up or down. And now what we're going to do is we're going to draw in those asymptotes. And it goes through the center and through the corners of the box. And if your scale is bad like mine, you might have to bend your line a little bit, but there we go. So those, those are the asymptotes, okay? So now what you do is you just say, okay, well, I know in this case, because the plus sign's on the Y, I'm opening up or down. I know the location of the vertices. I have the asymptotes. And now it's just a matter of fitting everything in. So we know that we should go out from here and off towards the asymptotes, out from here, off towards the asymptotes, out from here, off towards the asymptotes, out from there, off towards the asymptotes, and you have your sketch, right? So it's a bit of a mess, but we got her done.